Kevin CD. I'm Oprah Brown here at Body Solutions with personal trainer Monique Waters and massage therapist. Monique Waters yeah. <laughs> for Cascade Sports. So Monique, how are you today? I am great. How are you? I'm fine. So tell Kansas City what it is that you do. Um, well, one, like she said, I'm a massage therapist, but we're mainly here today because I'm a personal trainer. Um, what I focus on is typically people who have any sort of health issues, such as diabetes, thyroid issues, um, growth hormone issues. Um, we have a certification called Biosignature Hormone Therapy, and this allows me to truly customize a plan for my clients. So can you go some more detail about what exactly that is? Because I've heard of it before, but I don't know exactly what it is. So what it, what does it do for the client? When most people come in and get their body fat taken, um, it's going to be on a four-point counter system, and there's not really anything you can do with that number. It's just mm -hmm. to say, well, this is your body fat. We actually do a 12-point system. Each point is associated with some sort of hormone imbalance mm -hmm. or maybe a nutritional deficiency. So if you have a subscap issue, I can say, okay, well, she has a genetic tolerance to carbs or she does not. Right. If you have a super iliac issue, I know that you're taking in too many carbs or you're not. If it's going to be down in your leg, then I know, hey, that might be a growth hormone issue. So it kind of guides me um, and it, puts, it guides me to a direction of what type of supplementation do they need? What type of training do they mm -hmm. need? What type of diet do they need? So we can truly, truly put together a plan that's going to modify your life in a way that's going to be beneficial long term mm -hmm. and even if you have something such as diabetes and this and that maybe we can help you turn these things around right maybe we can try to help reverse some of these things or so do you have to be certified or go to school to be uh, specialized in that you do have to be certified um there actually are very few of them in our area in Oakland park alone i believe there's seven and five of us are actually here in this gym and we had to travel outward to go get the certification all right so have you seen many results or <laughs> um, the results are great because, like I said, a lot of trainers don't have a lot of education. You can simply go online and, you know, get a certification to right. be a trainer. So everyone here has a background in some sort of science discipline. So I actually have a bachelor's in cellular biology. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be a chemist, so this kind of aligned with right. what I'm doing with my training. It allowed me to come in with a great knowledge of the human body and bone structure um, to prevent injury and then as well as cellular function which is a lot of the issue when it comes to disease it's right. cell function so you need someone who's familiar with these things what school did you go to can you <laughs> Jay -ha. okay so how long have you been doing this um i've had my business for three years okay that's great yeah. so also okay so what how important is it to stay healthy and in shape <laughs> it's terribly important um for me the reason i got into what i'm doing is i was born with hypertension um ran in the family and i don't think people had any idea how much havoc mm -hmm. it could wreak on an individual's life but as a child i mean i was so doped up on so much medication there was days i could not even drive because i was out of my mind um, I've had kidney failure in the past, just a string of health issues because of hypertension and it's something that's huge in the African American mm -hmm. community. So for me it was, gotta educate these people because they have no idea until it happens to them. People don't want to change until they're in the hospital or something right. happens. I'm like, you need to be preventing these things because it's terribly expensive once you're already in that situation. So what are some things that we can do at home to stay fit and healthy? <laughs> um, one thing, those squat challenges that all these oh. girls post online, do them. <laughs> they help. Squats is something, one, it's a functional movement. You sit a lot. You have to bend down. So it's right. just going to teach you how to stay stable right. for a longer amount of time. Um, it's going to help with your ankles. It's going to help with the quads. Everybody wants that nice butt. <laughs> um, but the main thing you need to focus on, diet. Get your nutrition right because the rule that as long as you work out, you can eat whatever you want, is not true. <laughs> right. There, there, there are a few people that are that way, but that's because of genetic differences. Right. In their family, people may just look in shape, right. even when they eat cupcakes, and right. <laughs> cheeseburgers, and this and that. So you really need to get your nutrition in order, and then you want to focus on your exercise program, because if you have everything going as a system, you're solid. So, so you uh, specialize in nutrition, or you're a nutritionist? Or? I am not a nutritionist. Okay. Um, what we do is we're able to give guidance mm -hmm. and if anyone does want you know someone who is a certified nutritionist right. we have a network that we deal with I have hypnotherapists I deal with for people who have issues you know even following the plan 
Right. So when you do massage therapy, do you do it here at this facility? I do not. I have another office off of 79th and Metcalf. Um, I'm in a door boutique with actually four other girls, and we do a string of things. Any woman who wants to come be beautiful, you come there, you can get it all in one stop. Okay, so do you specialize in acupuncture or anything like that as well? I don't do acupuncture. Um, I do integrative type therapy, so I do not upcharge for things such as bamboo, hot stones, sports. These are things that if I feel like you need it, I'm just going to incorporate it into that massage. So I just build a lot of modalities into one system. So you have this here. What, what exactly is this here? This, I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to get it together because one of the <laughs> major things I hear with people is, well, how do you drink all that water? Yeah. I carry a milk jug around uh -huh. and on the side I have these lines. So one says 12 p.m., one says 3 p.m., one says 5 p.m. This gives you a marker so you know by this time you need to drink this much. By this time, drink this much. And by the end of the day, you would have finished this whole bottle. Um, and I actually got this from a friend of mine named Renzo on Facebook. I saw him doing this and I said, that's, that's solid. That is the yeah. best way to make sure you're on schedule with your water drinking as opposed to getting to in the night and, oh, I haven't drank any of my water. So that is a really good tip. So uh, with that though, how, how, how do we know, like how to measure it out? Is it just based on your body? However you want okay. to. For me, the, the larger part is in the bottom because I know I have more free time at the end of the day. Right. So that's probably when I'm gonna get most of my water drinking in. During the day, I'm constantly with clients. So unless I'm carrying this around in my hand, it's hard for me to get what I need. So kind of base it on your day. But I would say if you can, get the most water you can as early as possible. You don't wanna do it really late at night because you wanna sleep and you don't mm -hmm. wanna be up throughout the night constantly going to the bathroom right. because that causes a whole nother issue. Right. So try to do it during the day. So is this flavored water? <laughs> This is not flavored. I actually have a pre-workout in mind. I am constantly at the gym, so my water is always mixed with something. Oh, I see. Okay. That's great. BCAAs, whatever. Okay, because you know some people just can't drink water. They have to put some kind of crystal light or something. I, mean, I, I can just drink water. I love water, so. But you can get things on like Vance Trails. I'm, I'm sorry, BCAAs, so branch chain amino acids. Uh -huh. um, they're flavored, and you can put it in there if you want to. It's not going to be an extreme flavor because this is a whole lot of water for you to right. put it into. Um, but it just gives you something so it's not so blank. Right. So, okay, what is this? Okay, this is awesome because I have a lot of clients who say, well, how do you always have all those meals and I don't have time to cook? Well, what you do is you meal prep and this is called a six pack cooler. So, when I say it stays cold for like 12 hours, I have left all day and night and it works. You have these individual compartments so that you can pack all your food and it even comes with the little packaging, the Tupperware for you to put in there. Um, so you'll have everything with you for the whole day and then on the side you have areas that can hold your water bottles, you can put your silverware in there and then even on top if you are a person that takes supplements you can put your pill box right up here up top. So this is a way for you to have every single thing that you need and they even sell these as backpacks so if you don't want to carry this big cooler around just get your backpack. Where can we find these? Um, I believe you can, if you just look up sixpackbags.com um, mm -hmm. on yeah. Google, you can find one. But I mean, even if you can go on Amazon, you can find a cheaper one. Right. <laughs> it said, I just preferably like this brand. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah. I've never seen one of those. It's just a really easy way. Um, and another way I tell people is look at those meal services because I actually use a meal service and they will weigh everything out for you to make sure you're not going over on portion control. Um, I'm sorry. Um, they'll let you know, you know, what type of foods you mm -hmm. should be eating. They typically have a weight loss plan, um, right. a paleo plan, a gluten-free plan, um, and it's not as expensive as people think because one, you're not buying groceries. Two, the amount of time it takes you to constantly prep and put everything together, now you have that time to go make money or do whatever else you want to do. Right. So they really are worth looking into. They're not as expensive as people think. How important, or what, what would you, what are your thoughts exactly on diet pills? <laughs> I know a lot of personal trainers have different opinions about that. What are there your thoughts? is no magic pill. I sell supplements, but there, there are certain supplements that you need just for everyday health. Like a doctor, I always speak about vitamin D. Whenever you have a vitamin D deficiency, they're just giving you a supplement. They're just giving it to you in massive amounts. Right. So there are going to be some things that you need just for basic um, you know, nutritional consumption just to feel better, just to be healthier. But all these various plant extracts and versus, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, I don't promote all that. Um, unless I've seen enough scientific research, I'm not going to sell it. Yeah, the, the new thing is the 
a green coffee bean. I'm like, wow. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, you, you definitely need some supplements, but as a client, when they come in and speak to me, that, that's what my deal with doing the 12 point caliber system is. I can tell you what the numbers you get at each site, okay, this is what you need. If you're not sleeping, then I need to get you something with gap. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's, it's just a way for me to say, this is what you need, but you don't need to take a whole string of products. Right. Everybody is different. Right. And that's the thing we have to recognize, especially with bad diets, is you have this low carb, it's gluten free, X, Y, Z. It's unnecessary. Right. Because you're not me. Right. Your metabolism isn't mine. Your genetic tolerance isn't mine. Your hormonal level is not mine. So you really need to look at that individual to say, this is what we need to do. So, so how does this system work? Like, how, is there like this, uh, uh, equipment you use to measure or? Is it based off conversation? That no, we will look it up. Um, when people come in, I don't just push you to work. We have an extensive questionnaire. Mm -hmm. So I typically have you come in from anywhere for 60 to 90 minutes, and we'll go through the questionnaire. We'll talk about what's on there. You'll give me everything from, um, you know, are you constantly on antibiotics? Um, how often are you sick? What medications are you taking? Mm -hmm. Do you smoke or drink X amount of times per week? Just to kind of get an idea of what's going on with mm -hmm. you. And then with that, I'll also caliper you, which is where I take um, a little metal device and I'll go through and I'll pinch sites for body fat. And then I'll start telling you where we want to start and how we want to do your training. Because if I have someone whose body is extremely stressed out, high cortisol levels and this and that, it's pointless for me to throw you in the gym and start killing you because I'm just gonna stress your body out more so you're gonna get the opposite effect than what you're looking for. Right. Okay, <laughs> that works. So is there any like quick tips you can give as far as workout for people? Uh, can, I, can I use it? Oh my God, I'm scared, yes. <laughs> All right, so one thing Okay, so squats, do they do like, I've never done squats. No. I just have a booty because they rest in the family. Okay, that is, okay, I'm not going to say that so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but what we don't want is people dropping it like it's hot. Okay, so like. That's not how you do a squat. One, these are not supposed to be over the toes like that. What you're supposed to do is put the weight on the back of the heels. So when you go back, you're sitting back. Another thing you don't want to do is a lot of people put their torso all the uh -huh. way down your legs. It's never the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Um, and you're shorter, so you might not have this problem, but go ahead and try another for me. Okay, so okay. spread the knees a little more and the shoulder okay. apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go down. Much better. But what I want to do, you're still lifting up your heels, uh -huh. therefore you're putting the weight on the balls. Yeah. You don't want that going okay. in the back. So you're gonna sit back into it. Perfect. So <laughs> one thing you can do, would you put this up under your heels here? Okay. So for people who are taller, sometimes it's harder for them to go all the way down because their legs are so long. Um, another thing is people who have ankle mobility issues, they can't typically sit back on that ankle. So when you put that up under the heels of the feet, it allows you to do a deeper squat okay. and keep proper form. So go down again, sit back. <laughs> I don't know. If it's no, like... don't step back. I want you to sit back into it. You're like putting it. your knees up front. See, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> another thing you can do to make sure you're doing a proper squat is you can put your arms up over your head and hold a broomstick. And when you go down, if the broomstick goes down, it's wrong. You need to be able to keep it up the whole time. That's how you know you're in the right plane. Right. Something like that. No, <laughs> you said something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> One thing you really want to make sure they have is stability. Because if you have no stability, you're going to go down, especially when I start putting heavy weight on you. So I'll do exercises, um, even if you're just doing hammer curl or bicep curl. But do these things on one leg. Switch legs, do it on the other leg. When you realize that your stability looks good, mm -hmm. then start increasing your weight and start doing different exercises. So always focus on stability. And I always say, don't, don't even start with weight. <laughs> with just body weight until you get used to the system. Um, and this is especially what personal trainers are useful for because so many people injure themselves. Like, we just did that squat. Yeah. If I have somebody in here doing that, you need, yeah. you know, by the time you're 35, yeah. <laughs> you won't have knees anymore. Yes. So we have to have the body go out into the squat, but like, the feet apart, out? The, your feet are slightly apart, so like shoulder width, but you want to sit back into it. So you see how my toes are okay. up? Keep going back. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Thank you. So is there, is there
there anything else you want to tell Kansas City? <laughs> huh. Any advice? Because like they said, um, Kansas City is, you know, how we eat here. Our city, I don't think it's a very, I don't think it's on the top list of healthy cities. My advice, um, I'll say when picking a trainer, you need to ask these people, what are your credentials? Um, what have you been trained in? They said, we have additional certifications. This was not something we just said, okay, we gonna go out here and exercise mm -hmm. people. You can hurt people too easily. You can injure people too easily. You can give people heart attacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you really want to have someone who is knowledgeable in their craft and who knows, you know, like the first thing I do when people come in, it's not a real workout. It's simply me going through moves like I just did with you to say, this is proper form. Until you get the form down, we're not going any further <laughs> because it's gonna be, you're, you're gonna end up just spinning your wheels anyways. If I asked you to do a lateral raise and you're doing this, yeah, and you're never working the muscles you were supposed to in the first place, right. so therefore we're not gonna get to the end result. So just make sure you find someone who's knowledgeable about the art of personal training because it truly is an art. It's not just people out here throwing you in the gym. Right. So we're gonna take a look at some of the videos um, of what you actually do and how you work out. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and uh, that was nice footage of Monique working out. So Monique, okay, I see that you're wearing this attire, and it's very cute. <laughs> what is this? This is um, Feast and Training gear. Our launch date is actually next week. So a friend of mine who is actually local as well started a fitness clothing line, and I am the fashion lead, and this is my first piece. So if you girls want any nice fitness gear, yeah. get with me. Um, you get a discount if you have my card and my information. I love that. That's cute. It comes in different colors and everything. So that's very cute. So how can Kansas City reach you? Um, you can find me on Facebook under Monique Waters LMT. That's Monique Waters LMT. You can also find me on Instagram under Massage Amani, which is A-M-A-N-I, Massage Amani. Um, and Body Solutions, um, you can www.bodysolutions.com or you can Google us. <laughs> we'll probably be one of the first ones to show up. We are in the gym Body Solutions out in Overland Park. Oh, I do thank you for being a guest here on Cascade Sports. I'm Oprah Brown. Don't forget to check out other videos at WestelKansasCity.net and CascadeSports.tv. Sign me out. Thank you. <laughs> IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.